A popular TikTok influencer who went by the name of Inquisitor sadly took his own life after false allegations about him were spread by other influencers who wanted to ruin his image all in the pursuit of fame. After the allegations went viral and Inquisitor started receiving threats, he unfortunately felt the only way out was to end it all, and sadly he did it while live on TikTok for all to see. I obviously won't be showing any footage of that, but do keep in mind that the subject of this video will focus on what happened, and some people may want to avoid this darker video. Inquisitor was a 23-year-old Italian cosplayer who dressed up like a character from the Call of Duty franchise and blew up on TikTok when he started posing as his character, as well as playing songs with his guitar live on TikTok. Things were going great for Inquisitor, and he eventually got to the point where he felt he needed help to continue to grow his brand. Eventually, a girl who saw his work, who went by the name AJ, reached out to Inquisitor and offered to edit a few of his videos, which he agreed to, and delivered several well-edited videos that Inquisitor was thrilled with. In Discord, it showed Inquisitor responding after the edits were complete, saying things like, I love you, marry you, and calls AJ honey on a few occasions as well. At this point, it's not really clear if he was just being friendly or if this was an attempt at flirting, but it didn't go beyond that and there was no overtly sexual text that were leaked, but he did say those things. Eventually, it was revealed that AJ was only 17 years old, while Inquisitor, who was 23 at the time, allegedly had no idea of her being under age. AJ apparently wasn't a fan of the way Inquisitor talked to her, but instead of cutting off communication with Inquisitor or asking him to stop, she decided to keep working with him and say nothing. A few months later, Inquisitor and AJ stopped working together, and at that point, AJ decided to show the text messages from Inquisitor to her boyfriend Tito, who was also a TikTok influencer who went by the name of Tito is acting badly. Tito and AJ then allegedly concocted a plan to publicly expose Inquisitor as a pedo, according to leaked text messages between the two. The texts they had between Inquisitor and AJ weren't enough, so Tito told AJ to start talking with Inquisitor again and to flirt with him to try and convince him to text something inappropriate. Tito told AJ that he wanted her to keep flirting with Inquisitor, see where it goes. If he starts to get sexual, then I will expose him. We just need better and more proof. AJ proceeds with the plan and starts telling Inquisitor how much she loves him and ask him to date her, which he rejects, but AJ continues anyway and asks if they can get to know each other, which is denied as well. And then she goes so far as to lie to Inquisitor and tells him she's not a minor, so everything is okay if things go farther, but again, Inquisitor turns her down. Now, it's important to note that on Inquisitor's TikTok page, he made it very clear he didn't want to associate with underage fans, as his profile states MDNI, which stands for Minors Do Not Interact. It was clear at this point that AJ and Tito's entrapment plan wasn't going to work, so they decided to use what they had and attempted to spin the story anyway. AJ allegedly sends the old text messages from Inquisitor, saying I love you and marry me, to a TikToker by the name of Keegan's Mask, but she didn't send any of the later texts showing Inquisitor turning her down and not wanting to make it sexual. Keegan's Mask, not having the full story, decides this would make a great exposing video and releases a TikTok that claimed Inquisitor is a pedo since he was 23 and AJ was 17. Allegations like that obviously went viral and Inquisitor, despite not doing anything inappropriate with AJ and despite the fact she lied to him and told him she was an adult, began receiving massive backlash. He eventually deleted his Instagram account after receiving hundreds of hateful messages, but the harassment didn't stop there, and eventually it became too much for Inquisitor to bear, as he felt he would never recover from these allegations. Inquisitor sadly went live on TikTok and ended his life by hanging himself. Now, I won't be showing any footage from that live stream, but it's unclear how much was shown as that video has now been scrubbed from TikTok. A re-upload that I saw seemed to imply that he did the act off camera and it wasn't actually shown in the live stream, but what is shown is one of his friends breaks the window to his room and tries to perform CPR to save his friend's life. After this happened, many people initially believed it was fake, as you can never be too sure what people will do for fame online in 2023, but sadly Inquisitor's father announced his son had passed away, and this was confirmed by news agencies as well. Once it was all confirmed to be true, the backlash against Tito, AJ, and Keegan's mask began to grow, which is when the text messages showing Inquisitor rejecting AJ leaked and proving nothing sexual had ever happened between them. Realizing their attempt to frame Inquisitor as a predator had led to his passing, all three individuals began issuing apologies, asking people to forgive them and stop harassing them. All I'm saying right here 
is that I want more proof to convince myself that he is a... That's all I wanted was more proof that he is what we actually think he is. Here's another thing. I did not tell her to lie. I did not tell her to crop screenshots. I did not tell her to edit things. I, I am being completely honest with you. So basically the reason she went back to talk to him was because I needed more proof for myself. I am a man of God. I don't like ruining people's lives. I never wanted to ruin anybody's lives. And I wanted none of this to happen. As this garnered more attention, TikTok eventually took notice and ended up banning everyone involved in the whole plot that led to Inquisitor's passing. As of now, we don't really know where this will go from here. With multiple people involved in different countries, any criminal charges that may be filed could take a while before anything happens. And if by some chance these people aren't criminally charged, at the very least, Inquisitor's family should file civil suits against these people, in my opinion. I really am amazed at what a callous online world we live in where people are willing to ruin someone's life with false allegations just for some internet fame. But as I've now covered a few stories like this, it's clear this type of behavior is only getting worse.